Hi right guys, welcome back. I've got an update for my chain of command stuff. Being a busy little bee, making some trees and buildings and stuff, and uh, we'll have a good look through it. So, what I've done with the trees is I've just put a mixture of some PVA glue. I mean, like I used Gorilla Glue. I put a bit of brown paint in there, but I don't think that's too necessary. It didn't really either. I didn't use enough, or it didn't affect it enough. But I just put a bit of what is it, charred brown in there. Hopefully turn the PVA a bit darker when it dried, I mean, kind of has. Put it all around and then I'll use this like rollway basin, it's like sawdust. Sand would be uh, good, but I thought since it's meant to be trees, it's gonna look like bits have fallen on. So, let's do a close up. It's nothing special, but It'll look nice from a distance. So, I've also got these, which are templated ones, just for better outlining where a set of woods are. Obviously, you can still remove them for when you want to put infantry there. Yeah, nice little job. So, with these trees, I had to with these trees on the back I had to put some modelling putty because they're only, if you remember, half of, half of the base, the rest was flat. I think they're designed to glue against a wooden board, like for the back of a railway scenic. So fill that in, put some sawdust on, that looked fine. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to dye it all a really dark brown and have patches of grass. Yeah, that's what that's going to be. Right. Now, I'm going to move all of this and then I'll catch you in a second and we'll uh, get some buildings on here. Right guys, so we've got the buildings laid out. We've even got a couple of Panzer Grenadiers that are in the painting process. Just for scale, so obviously they're fighting over this Russian village. Right, so we've got two of the little outhouses, three of the little village houses, two of the bigger vi village houses and the church. Now I think I need to order myself another, maybe one of these, and they also do from Sarissa Productions a Russian village cottage, I can't remember the Russian, I don't know Russian. So that's a, just a little bit bigger, I think it comes out to about that big and it's got two floors so it's about there. I think that'd be nice on the board so and fits in with the village so I'll probably be looking at getting them. Uh, as promised I'm going to have a bit of a better look at some of these so got the Russian barn, house house barn whatever it's called, stable. It's got a little window so that's going to be a nice little firing point and as with all these, I've not glued the roof on. So it means, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work on camera. You can put your guys in. So you can see what units are in there. So, put the scale. I think that's all right. So we've got a few of those. That'll be a nice scenery. Let's have a look at the houses. Uh, this is a bit more of a complicated kit to build. All these you have to glue on separately, and I've glued this all together with super glue. I was looking at wood glue, but super glue works very well, and uh, get together quite nicely. Been looking at how to paint these I think I'm going to prime them and then paint airbrush all the wood just for ease. I'm going to mask off the brick and I'm probably going to go back and do some red terracotta or something like that just a, a brickish appearance. So again for a scale. Uh, 
And that works quite nicely. And let's have a look at the inside. Got a little pantry. I'm not going to buy any furniture for him because, well, that would look pretty cool. I think he's just a step too far. Oh, his gun's just at the wrong angle, but I can do that there. Put the lid back on. Uh, roof back on. There you go, he's firing out. Now the roofs have gone together quite nicely, and I've just put a bead of super glue down, so these are solid. And these just slot inside, so get this. Yeah, very nice. Really like these buildings. Now, bigger village house. Surprisingly easy to put together. Um, if ever you pick one of these up, I'm going to put a link to the village set in the description. If ever you pick this up this front panel here loops over this floor which is all one piece so you kind of got to slot it on like twisted and then twist it into position and then i glued the side wall on and that kind of locks it in place and then you got to glue this wall on and it really really firmly locks it in place yeah let's have a quick look large village house Really, really cool buildings, really like them. Now, that I've glued on, you'll see one in a sec. Because, if I want to put somebody in, I can just put somebody in there, which, as you can see, fits no problem. Now, I think you're gonna be able to fit quite a few people in here. You could easily fit a squad. Tons of room in there. Let's get a cool little shot of him through the window. There you go. You see right through him, he's looking through the other side. So if I just whack the roof back on, we can have a look. Now, oh, it's going to be cool here. So I can place that on here. You can get a very good idea of the scale. I think it's really well suited really good stuff I'm intrigued to see what the European buildings are going to be like which I've got two of but and I've unlike these because these are all single most of them are all single story um, you don't really have any height on them could buy a Russian townhouse which has two floors but that I'm, I'm gonna stay away from that because I'm not doing a town I'm doing a, a village so the European buildings come in two layers that you can obviously remove the top floor and the roof, so it's three sections. And you can also buy middle sections, so theoretically you could go as tall as you want, but you, you wouldn't go much taller than ground first, second floor, and then the removable roof. And uh, I just think it'd be so cool to do something like, I don't know, Carantan or, or something like that, where you've got an entire street of all these different level houses that you can go in and you've got to clear it could just be awesome, It'd be really cool. So I'm I'm looking at doing that potentially for a uh, Western Front game because I, I like the idea of late war Western Front in Europe. So I've done those. Let's have a look at the big one. Just going to swap these around. So just struggling to fit in camera. I'm going to grab one of my little grenadiers. I'm going to do the scale first. I mean. That is very big. I mean, it's big for a kit I've built. You can get a lot bigger than this, but these are my first buildings. Now, I have left the roof so it can come off. So theoretically, we could put people in, but the problem I've got is it's just going to be so far. It just, it seems fiddly to me. It's like, so what I'm thinking is, I've seen these being glued down. These slot over the top unlike the other ones. I've seen these being glued down, but I think I'm not gonna do that. I 
think I'm going to leave it like this so I can transport it easily. Because, I mean, that is easier to transport than that, I imagine. And we'll just have to say what units are in there. Which I could have done for all these, but where I can, I want it so you can place the models in the building. Because it's just cooler. So... Let's do a little run round. Really cool piece. Like that's. I mean, as far as chain of command goes, I think this can be a dominating feature on the battlefield purely because you've got like these really high windows, which I'm going to say you can fit people in. Because why not? So you've got two firing points on this side. Nearly only one on each of this and the other, but two firing points on that side it's very high up and if I get I mean, even one of the bigger houses I put that level there you go you can still see clean over the top of that so you're gonna get firing arcs which is all part of the game and it's gonna just make for an interesting battlefield and how you navigate it yeah so these I thought we we're going to be a little more fiddly because these bits of cardboard are all one with the frame, but no, just exacto knife them off the sprue on a flat surface and then just poke them out, no problem. The sphere at the top was a little bit of a pain, but again, nothing too much. It's just a nice bit of kit that. So yeah, so I've got to do a little bit of research on how Russian villages in this style are painted. I've seen them done in reds, like dull reds, uh, yellows, like a mustardy yellow. I think I've seen like, I'm not sure if the hospital, it's not a pea green, it's like, it's like a very white green. Like they used it in hospitals a lot in Russia, but either way, I've seen houses painted in that. Like a 1950s green, like you've seen, you can see cars or bathtubs or whatever painted in it from the period, but. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I've got quite a lot to do on these. I think I might wait until I've got the other buildings just so I can do them all in one go. And I'll probably place an order in for that. Now, I've got these guys out. These also need finishing, which shouldn't take too long. I've got a few more to build, which are crew for my um, 88mm gun. I've then got... What else have I got? Got a few vehicles, and that should be everything for the Germans built. The Russians, I've got two boxes of infantry. I'm hoping that's going to be enough because I need to also make, as I found out, a squad of SMGs. And I want a spare squad of rifles. Not sure I can do that in two kits, so we'll see. And I've placed an order for a few support options, which I'll go through when they come. But I'm very happy with that. I've had to order that direct from Warlord Games. But uh, when they come, I'll then consider putting all the Russians together and jobs are good. Anyway, guys, for the moment, that's everything. And cheers for stopping by. Catch you next time. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page, at Wolfing Studios. The link's in the description. As always, thanks for stopping by. Catch you next time.